Hi everyone, this is Alicia Smith with Alicia Smith Designs and I have a project share for you today. I'm participating in West Coast Crafty Babes um, Halloween group swap and that's Maki Katani. And we were to make three and get two um, and it was a simple swap. So we made one shaker, a bow, sequins mix, 10 die cuts, and a store-bought goodie. And I'd like to share what I made. And here we go. So um, I used several dies, which I'll cover. And then I also made boxes for my candy that I'll share with you. So I'm really excited about these. They turned out really cute. Um, so this is, um, it could be the front. Actually, I thought it was the back until I finished it. And then this is the front. So I'll go through each of them. So this one is um, using the KS Craft um, large tag die set. And so I use that for the outer pieces and the pocket. The sides, um, surprisingly, I use Scrap Diva's side for her Memory Dex um, box. This is a new one, a Memory Dex box that she has. It's called Trick or Treat Memory Dex bag. But I just used the sides for this and then I kind of freehanded the bottom to make the box here. And I'm using 31 paper and just some black 110 uh, paper that I have. So it's pretty sturdy. And um, you know how I do it. I just kind of roll with it. So I had to make some adjustments. I'll tell you about them as I go. Um, these are just some cray paper rosettes that I had in my stash. I just finished a, um, a swap with Anna at... Um, Crafty, Ooh, I wish I knew. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher it. So anyway, Anna just sent me this gold, um, a little doily here. I just put together several elements from my stash. This is some stickers, and this is from my Cricut, and put this embellishment here. This, of course, is from Dollar Tree, and I have her crafty goodie in here, and this is what the um, little caddy looks like. So I used the outer die, tag die, and the inner tag die. And um, the inner tag, I didn't realize, was significantly shorter or shorter than I wanted it to be. So I cut it here. This um, um, decorative paper I cut and moved this piece down so it mirrored closer to this bottom so I had a, a better margin that I that I wanted. So of course then that left a gap so then I had some leftover ribbon and so I taped the ribbon there and so then I got to put something on top of the ribbon and so Anna also sent me these um, these uh, bows and she happened to send three and they were perfect so thank you Anna. And so that's how this whole thing came about and so I was thinking that was going to be the front and then when I added the crafty goodie, then I needed a pocket, and so then here we are. Nevertheless, that's how those are going. And then this is the um, sequence mix that I created just using these um, Dollar Tree syringes. And, uh, also, no, I, I had these in my stash, these little pumpkins, so that's just kind of going in there. And then all three of them are the same. So I used um, this die to create, I can get to it quickly, the, um, I can't get to it quickly, but it's a, a um, bag topper die. Um, I had a, a set of them from Chaos Craft. Oh, here they are. And so just these three. And so I chose to use the heart. And these are that big set of um, little Halloween embe embellishments that I cut out. I cut out a gazillion of them. 
And I have to say they have come in handy to have all of them. Now, I, I'm not going to tell you that it's necessary to have this many. But when you have that many, you may as well cut them out because you can use them on these little things. I fussy cut this out of the design paper, as you can see here. So I had a little scrap, so that little ghost. And then these are just other pieces. And these are my bows. And again, using my little favorite bow punch from Stampin' Up for these bows. And I just punched out some black... Um, some black uh, flowers and put some bling in there. I did uh, use a um, embellishing um, folder for the black. I don't know if you can see that. Um, just to add something. And then this pink here is just offcuts of word dyes. And it made this kind of spooky looking piece. Put that on there. Um, these again are rosettes from my stash. Some I just sewed some scrap paper, one of those die cuts again, and then this is my um, shaker. And if you have, if you followed my channel, which I hope you do, um, I created these um, uh, potion bottles on my Cricut, and so I'm gifting them one of those. And then these are all of my die cuts. I won't open them, but there are a lot of die cuts in here. And this is just using a cut apart. And I just made this little envelope by hand and put a sticker on here. And that's what's in there. So um, that's what's going in the box. And then I wanted to share some of these lint chocolates. And so I made the box and um, put the three chocolates in there and just use some more of those little small embellishments to decorate each of the boxes so I thought they turned out cute and um, I'll just quickly run through this one this is another embellishment again using just pieces that um, I already cut out and this is one of Anna's bows that she gifted me and again I cut this in half and spread it apart and then put this ribbon in the middle and then the third one, again, is a different embellishment here. Same concept, and that's one of Anna's bows. So um, I appreciate that. And it's Anna Rodriguez, I believe is her name, that um, shared those bows with me, and they came in handy, and it was perfect, and I appreciate it. So that is my project share for today thank you so much for stopping if you haven't already i would love if you would hit the like button and the subscribe so that you can see what i share the next time and until then have a great day Bye bye